It's time for Q&A with the credit game. All right. What would you consider a good credit score? 900. <laughs> so the scoring system goes to? 900. <laughs> <laughs> so in Jess's opinion, unless you're 900, you just have bad credit. Right. Which would include me and you. <laughs> <laughs> we do not have 900 yet. Anyways, the scoring system goes between 300 and 900 here in Canada, mm -hmm. and there's a lot of talk or uh, obsession about the score and what is a good score. Mm -hmm. And if you look online, it can be very misleading because Equifax and TransUnion have different graphs and they have different categories that they put you in. Uh, they consider ex excellent different scores on different reports. And so if you're looking at what is a good credit score versus not a good credit score, it can be very confusing. Are they both on a scale of like 900? Yeah, three to 900. But yet Why? they have different categories of Do you ever thresholds. wonder where that came from? Like the three to 900? Wouldn't it be like zero to a thousand or something? Like so 900? in the states it's 850 for some reason mm. so i don't know why they came up with that mm. um but they did right. uh so with the thanks for asking a question i don't have the answer to <laughs> that's my job <laughs> make me look dumb <laughs> <laughs> anyways the different scoring systems or to have a good credit score in both equifax and transunion i always tell my clients 700 is the threshold okay once you're over 700, it's awesome. And the reason why is because I've never seen anyone qualify for better interest rates just because they got over a 700. So there's some programs, depending on what type of financing, that once that they're looking for 700 and above. But once you've hit that, you don't get a better interest rate. So other than uh, bragging purposes between spouses or partners, <laughs> not competitive at all this one no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's really no value of having a super high score with that uh, it's just a buffer that if you did make a mistake then then it would protect you from going under that threshold I've seen people get approved and and there's lots of people that get approved for best rates even though they don't have that 700 so even if your score isn't there yet I wouldn't say that should stop you from applying for somewhere. Right. The other problem is that the score that you see is not the one that the banks use, which so confusing is way more confusing than it needs to be. And so we have different videos that go through why they're different or how that works. But in reality, if you are looking for some kind of financing, I always suggest go to the professional that you are looking to get approved with and have them check the credit report, even if it lowers your score a couple of points, it's worth it for you to figure out what you need or maybe you're good to go. Right. So don't let that score scare you away. Um, if you get declined, then I'm not suggesting go and apply everywhere, but go check it out, see what you need to do to improve that or get better. Um, if they don't know, then we have lots of different videos that will help you increase the score here on Credit TV. I was just gonna ask, what's a quick way to increase your score? That's a different video. Mm, okay, well, I guess I'll never know. <laughs> I hope you'll be present. <laughs> but... No, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> done. All right.